at the apartment in Cebu. This is the apartment I got a sofa in here. I got it close to the supermarket. Um, where's the supermarket? Oh, it's there. There's the supermarket. It's got a balcony. Awesome. So that's where where I was before and where we where I ate somewhere there. It's got little There are lots of constructions here. They are building lots of uh, new buildings that I think they're mostly renting these buildings. They're all new. They look okay. As a kitchen, there's no oven, but it has everything else. And one more bed, so it's for three people. TV. Mm. This was 30 euros per night. It's on a Monday because uh, during the weekend it's 60 euros per night, I think. But during the week it is 30 euros per night. It looks okay. I like it. There isn't anything. In my opinion, this is an empty store. I'll go see if there's anything to eat. This one. Many people told me this is this tastes good. So I will have this. Also with um, pork ribs. The restaurant is situated next to Carrefour. El Gringo, it's called. It's got pork, it's got beef, it's got chicken. Mm. Mm. 
salad. That's pretty much it. I'll let you know what it looks like. This is what the pussy looks like. It's supposed to be a muscle in the genital area of the pig. That's what the um, cabbage salad looks like and that's what the other salad looks like. Yeah, it looks a bit burned. So I guess they don't really know how to cook it. So this is the pork rib. It looks like that doesn't have any fat, so it looks like it's just uh, just the meat. Yes, burned meat without any fat. This one might have some fat, so this one might be more edible. Okay, so I had a bite as well. The pussy looks like boiled meat and it tastes like boiled meat. If you like the taste of boiled meat without anything in it, yes, in the burnt on the outside and boiled on the inside. So if you like the taste of boiled meat, mm, go ahead and eat it. The ribs, um, I don't know, it didn't taste any good. So in my opinion, the food here at this restaurant is crap. But uh, I don't know. If you're very hungry, maybe you can eat it. But I'm I'm done here. I'll go look for a different restaurant, or something else. Well, this is center of Cebu. It's got mostly. Uh, restaurants as you can see most people have water coffee and soup and beer It's a mountain town and that's why most people here in the mountains eat very salty smoked pork meat and I don't eat smoked meat so that's why there isn't really anything edible in my opinion. It's probably early again just like you know this one? But at least here there are plenty of tourists who speak English, which is awesome. Yeah, no one's eating. I 
I guess it's too late for lunch and too early for dinner. So everybody's just having ice cream and beer and something to drink. Or maybe there are no people because it's Monday. Just ice cream. I got a place near the supermarket because I thought that restaurant would be okay, but uh, it wasn't. I guess I should have gotten a place to stay close to this center. It was the same price. Next time, I'll come close to the center. It smells there. Another ice cream. It's September. Almost at the end of September and people are still having ice cream. I wonder how can they do it? Whatever it was, it's over now. And this is the regular mm, stores. These are the regular stores and restaurants. My father is asking for directions, for recommendations to get uh, to go for another restaurant. It looked like there were more people at the first restaurant than there are here. I usually look at how many people are at a restaurant in order to figure out if it's worth eating there or not. I just like, I imagine if it's any good, maybe there are many people eating there. But it looks like these people are having cheese and corn. I don't eat either one of those. Yes, especially here in Sibiu, people here, uh, they raise sheep and they sell mostly uh, 
uh, yeah, potatoes. That lady's having potatoes and pork. As I was saying, most people here sell and consume corn with uh, cheese. Ship cheese or goat cheese. Most tourists here are from Germany. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Is it me or there's nothing edible here? Mm. Asian chicken maybe? Nah. Mediterranean chicken. It's got cheese. Mm. It's just chicken breast. Everybody sells only chicken breast. So there's nothing edible. Pizza and chicken breast. Mm. There don't seem to be many people there either, but let's see. So it's got pork ribs. Uh, pork mussels, that's not good. It only has pork ribs, that's it. But it's sort of empty. There's a, there are a few more, few more restaurants here. That's why I came. Speak Russian here as well. Mm, just people drink, drink, drink. Yeah, everybody is drinking. No one's eating anything. Let's see. Oh, that's pizza, so I don't think I want to go there. Mm. Soup. Steak. Mm. Salad. I think this is the only option. I left because I saw someone else who ordered what I wanted to order. Actually, that was um, sausages with cabbage and um, potatoes. And the lady ate only the potatoes. So I imagine the sausages and the cabbage must have been very salty because it usually is very salty so I left I'm looking for 
food that is edible, that is not salty. I eat only once a day and I spend most of the time looking for food. That's absurd. Someone told me there is a good restaurant here somewhere. In the stinky place. Hmm. Yep, it's there. Oh. It's a hidden restaurant. It's very difficult to walk on the street. See? You have to keep your balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the one. This is how buildings in the historical center look like. They are like, I don't know, a thousand year old. Oh, I think it's closed. Oh, this one. It's closed. So, there's, there's no restaurant. Since that one was closed, I'm going to the only restaurant I usually eat when I come to Cebu. As I mentioned, I came to Cebu several times and once I met a local person who told me the only good restaurant is the one that I'm going to right now from Super Mama and you go straight away. And then you make a left and you're there. I'll show you if it's open. It's got a parking. Awesome. Uh -huh. This one, this is one. Oh yeah, they mostly sell beef as well, but they have um, some pork and some chicken and the food was edible. So, so here I am. They mostly have beef, but the person said that I should be able to find pork ribs as well. Burger main dish. Lamb chops. Mm, but it's red meat. Chicken breast. I don't eat breast. Pork ribs. I think I'll have to take in barbecue sauce. This looks good. Better than in Odessa. Better. Mm. And salad. Mm, it's got cheese. Okay. We can set that one aside. But the pork ribs looks good. 
Let's see what my parents have to say. And the verdict? <laughs> this say it's just like the ones you know they sell. So I guess pork ribs. And they probably have the same recipe everywhere. Yeah, I should say that. It's the same recipe everywhere. <laughs> Is it good? Memo? Mm. Is it good? Good. Mm -hmm. All bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you have it. <laughs> okay. It looks like it's got some fat, which is good. And looks good. <laughs> it was easy to remove the bone. Hmm? Well, in my opinion, this is way more edible compared to what I had before. Yeah, this is edible. The one that I had before, uh, next to Powerful, that was not edible. So, I say it's okay. I am at another restaurant, the first restaurant, the one that is the most crowded in CPU from what I've noticed, and my father got a pork leg, um, I think, yes, no. well, something, pork and uh, cabbage salad and both my parents said it is it tastes good is it good is it good is it good yeah. okay it's good <laughs> he says that we huh? Yeah. He says to tell you again that uh, we are looking for food that does not include any cereals, any starch, any um, seeds or beans or oh right, and no red meat because we are blood type A. And if you ask me, no uh, chicken breast either. And he says that pork is not good either, but it's an acceptable compromise. Sort of acceptable. Yeah, he says that chickens have more hormones. <laughs> so uh, this is something good you can eat if you come to Cebu. Mm, this is the restaurant. It's the first one. You can notice it. You can notice it because it's got the most customers in Cebu, from what I've noticed. Right. He says that uh, cooked food has a lot of salt, which is regular salt, like this one, white salt. White salt is bad. If you use salt, use um, Celtic sea salt, the one that is uh, gray. Yes, it's not white. If it's not white, it's bad. 
if it's white, it's bad. And, well, he likes it, so that's it from Sibyl. <laughs>